What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is on a very dirty boat. This boat has been sitting for a long time underneath a tree. As you guys can tell, it is absolutely covered in a thick layer of algae. And the inside is covered in leaves and just it's, it's all around pretty bad. But in today's video, we're gonna transform this boat back to its factory condition. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I post brand new videos every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and roll these before shots and get right into this disaster boat detail. I just want to give you guys a little update on what's going on at the shop. If you guys seen our previous video, we're doing a full shop build and we ran into a big hiccup to say the least. So we started on the drain. I'll insert a little clip like where the shop's at now. But we almost had the drain complete. They were going to pour concrete today and then we would be on our way. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the landlord just has a complete fit. But it's almost too late because the concrete is completely ripped up. But like everything was good to go. Everything was approved. And then all of a sudden, yeah, we just can't do it anymore. So yeah, we're at we are at a complete standstill and it's honestly just pretty frustrating because we have a big massive hole in the shop. So we cannot use our shop at all. So so I'm trying to get everything worked out and we should be good to go to pour the concrete maybe next week or the week after that. But I just want to apologize that I don't have any new videos for you guys. I'm trying, but like I said, with this big massive hole in the shop and it being in our wash bay, we cannot do new vehicles. So I decided to put this video together for you guys. It is a asmr version of that nasty boat we did a while ago and honestly i'll probably do a couple more of these so i just want to thank you guys for being patient with me i'm trying to get everything done but it's just been a complete nightmare to say the least so if you guys enjoyed this video and yeah hopefully we'll be back very soon this towel is here so long that it's Died also died the seat.
And moving on to getting all the algae and dirt removed, I'm simply using our Mad Detailing Extreme All-Purpose Cleaner diluted four to one. And then I'm gonna simply spray it off with a pressure washer and it's really satisfying to watch. So I hope you guys enjoy.
even after pressure washing the inside, there is still a lot of like stain residue left over and that's common on boats that sit for a long time. So I'm simply using our mad acid and I'll also use a product called soft scrub. It's like a bleach compound type thing. I don't know, but it works really good on boats. And I'm simply using a brush to scrub the entire thing and then I'll pressure wash it and that will bring it back to white and get all that staining removed. Moving on to actually washing the boat, I'm using our Mad Detailing Super Blue Soap in a foam cannon, and I'm gonna give it a nice hand wash with a soft microfiber wash mitt. So after getting the boat washed and all the graphics removed, I'm now using 3000 grit sandpaper because this boat is extremely oxidized. The reason why I'm not clay barring it first is because the clay would just literally stick and it just wouldn't do anything at all. And by me sanding the entire boat with 3000 grit, that's gonna remove a lot of oxidation because if I were to just start polishing right now, I'm just gonna get a lot of oxidation in my pad and it's just gonna take forever. So I always recommend when you're doing a boat like this, at least sand it with 3000 grit. Normally I would probably do like 
I don't know, you, it, on boats you could even do like 600, 800, but I would probably just do like 1,000, 1,500, um, 2,000, then 3,000. But simply for this job, I'm just gonna hit it with 3,000 and then go back with a DeWalt rotary polisher and a wool pad and some heavy cut compound.
After getting the entire boat cut with the rotary, I'm now using our Rupes Mark II polisher in a red polishing pad. And I'm just using a product made by 3D. It's their 3D speed. It's like an all-in-one like compound polish. And it has some wax to leave behind a good protection. Whenever the customer gets the graphics put back on and all the emblems, I'm gonna go ahead and do another polish and ceramic coat this boat. Thank you. 